So yesterday we went to the mystical hanging bridges in La Fortuna and when I went to edit it, this idiot deleted some of the footage. So um, I'm just redoing the intro. So logistics wise, it's $26 to get in. It's 15 kilometers from La Fortuna and there's I think two or three kilometers of trails with six suspension bridges over the rainforest. Uh, through the magic of editing, we'll go back in time and we'll show you the bridges. The wild boars. <laughs> so apparently, <laughs> oh my, this is good. But I thought that it might be an aardvark or an anteater. No, and uh, she said, no, I think that's a nose bear, <laughs> which apparently is what they call aardvarks in Switzerland or Germany, a nose bear. That's fantastic. What do you call sloths? Lazy bears. Thank you. Lazy bears. That's so good. Oh, and a final piece of logistics. We decided to do it in flip-flops, but we were told that you might want to bring trainers, so we have trainers. Hopefully you won't need them. It seems to be fairly well paved, but we will see. We've made that mistake before. We've been walking for 20 minutes and we've arrived at our first hanging bridge. Apparently on a clear day, it's the best one because you can see the volcano, but by all accounts, I don't know how many clear days they get here, but this is pretty high. It's so peaceful, I'm so glad we're the only ones in here. And whilst it's, we're sort of in the clouds, so it's not raining, but it's not dry. It's not too cold, but I think bring a jumper. Um, we'll see if we can, <laughs> is, is Farrah drunk?
fridge number two. Pylon tree bridge. Yeah, so this does look like the shortest one. Apparently the last one is nearly a hundred meters long. Trivia, fun facts. <laughs> I'm sure we're gonna fall yeah. down. <laughs> This one's pretty spectacular, bridge number three. There's a waterfall below us. Oh, and a nice view. If you're scared of heights, probably not the activity for you. But if you don't mind them, the views are great. I don't want to die yet. No, neither do I. The volcano should be over there. But even if you look on the brochures, there's often cloud there, so the chances of seeing the volcano at the top of the volcano slim, I would say. Bridge number four, and this one is particularly wobbly. Oh, she's on her phone. Phone club. So they've named all the small bridges and the bigger bridges as well. But there's one tunnel and they've called it Jumping Pit Viper Tunnel. I'm not sure that's the best name for a dark tunnel. It's my only criticism so far. And I like to criticize. Bridge number five. And this one is also a snake. Fair de Lance Bridge. really thick rainforest. It's gorgeous. I don't think I've used that word in a few years. And here we are, the final bridge. Can you put your phone away? Yeah. <laughs> 97 meters long. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, this one's surrounded by trees, so you can't really see all that much. And it's nowhere near as high as the first one. It's 
So that's done in an hour and 20 minutes. Ah. <laughs> um, what would you say was your favorite bridge? Uh, was it the first one? Yeah. I think the first one first is the one. best one. The other ones are really nice. Um, but the first one feels like the highest. Feels like you're above the canopy. And the view is the most spectacular on the first one. Yeah, but the view on the third and fourth ones were pretty good as well. Yeah. Worth it. $26. 15 kilometers outside La Fortuna. Yeah. About that, about a half an hour drive, maybe less. Apparently there's no Uber here. So we got the number from our taxi driver to take us back. And yeah, a bit of a whistle stop tour. Hope it comes out nice. And next will be La Fortuna waterfall. It's very, very nice here. You should come. Hold on a second. We've just got to the car park and there's probably 10 or 12 more cars. So worth getting here early. But the view from the main sort of reception area Volcano here. Small logistical things. Maybe bring a jumper. The first half, you might get a little bit cold. You can do it in flip-flops pretty easily. There's no muddy parts. It's all paved the whole way. And yep, yeah, allow an hour and a half or two hours. We didn't see any sloths. Again. <laughs> we paid $15 two days ago to walk around a sloth park and we didn't see any sloths because we didn't want to pay $45 for a guide each for what was like a two kilometer walk. So we have two more days here. Hopefully we can see some sloths or perezosos, which means lazy, lazy bears. Or faltir. Or faltir.